everybody and welcome back to another episode of my star sign legacy challenge so again we're here in salani with maple of course she's currently at kai koya's house today i can't remember exactly why i decided to bring her here i think i played a day off camera and she's just come to visit them so i'm gonna come and um call everyone to a meal i don't know who's home right now but we'll wait and see i definitely saw kai just come down the stairs into the room here so I think she's just making some dinner for these guys. I'm not really sure why she's here, but I will probably either have her stay the night or send her home. So far, Maple is doing pretty well in her career. She is on a mission to clean up Solani along with Koya, and I think she's doing really, really well so far. I think she must have worked from home today and done these tasks, which is why they ticked off. So maybe she's just come over after work to see them. Honey's actually inviting us out to the Romans Festival. So since I have no idea why I'm actually at their place, I think this is probably a good way to leave. Um, I will bring both Kai and Koya along with us though, um, because it is the Romans Festival and we're dating Kai. So obviously we'll bring him with us and we'll just bring Koya for the sake of bringing Koya. Also, Yuki is an elder. Right, here we are. So I don't know when Yuki exactly became an elder, but I just noticed she's actually gone ahead and aged up. Oh my god, I cannot believe she's already an elder. I might extend some of her life days because I feel like she's way too young to be dying. Um, I'm actually going to put Maple into some regular clothes and oh my gosh she's literally dancing with Kai. I was thinking after the last episode that I might actually have um, Maple break up with Kai at some point. I honestly just feel like he wants a bit more commitment than she does and he's obviously still feeling a bit sad because we did flirt with Koya last time. Um, so I just don't really see these guys being like a long-term couple, but I'm not going to do anything just yet because obviously it's a romance festival. So let's just try and cheer him up, have a good day. But I think in the back of her head, she is starting to think like maybe this is not going to work out for the long run. I definitely think she needs to have a chat with him about her non-committalness just to let him know and just kind of see what his thoughts are. But yeah, we'll throw some pedals at him because we are at the Romans Festival and I also want to go and see Honey because I'm pretty sure she just walked past and she is actually pregnant. So I did give her a little bit of an updated appearance after the episode where we moved her out. I think it was the last episode. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> um, and she, at the time, I couldn't tell she was pregnant in Cass, but it looks like she actually is, which is a good thing. So we'll have to come over and celebrate with her. I'm not sure if she's brought May with her. I really feel like she should bring may with her if they are literally going to be getting married so i might actually invite may to come hang out as well but yeah maple's gonna go over and feel her tummy oh my gosh this is crazy seriously like these twins have really grown into very different people as they've gotten older miss honey is expecting a baby and having a family whereas maple is like she couldn't even imagine having a baby right now to be honest <laughs> Okay, so we just invited May to come hang out as well because I do want to see her and congratulate her on her pregnancy. I will come over and find... Where the heck did Honey go, man? I'm going to find Honey again and wanna... I want to feel her baby. Where is she? Oh, she's over here. She's getting some food. Okay, yeah, she must be hungry. But I want to come over and see if I can feel her belly because she's having a little baby. And I know that Maple's not interested, but I still feel like she would definitely want to like feel her tummy. Ask to feel baby. And I guess while we're here, we can spread some conservation stuff as well. I'm sure she wants to talk about it with Honey anyway and just sort of let her know how her career is going, ask how her career is going. Realistically, I know we only moved out in the last episode, but it has been like, I would say a couple weeks or a couple months since that's happened. Like in game time, considering she is like probably in her trimester two or something of her pregnancy. Oh my gosh. Look how sweet. I can't believe you're gonna be an aunt. That's crazy. <laughs> I have no idea what she's having though, and I'm not gonna check because I honestly kind of want it to be a surprise. But we'll have to keep an eye on her and see what she's having. And I also think this episode, I do want to go ahead and start arranging Honey's wedding as well. So maybe tomorrow, Sunday, we'll go ahead and have um, both May and Honey actually get married. I kind of was planning to do that anyway, but now that she's pregnant, I'm like, oh, maybe I should hold off until she gives birth. But honestly, I don't really mind. I feel like she would just get married anyway, even if she was still pregnant. Let's just hope she doesn't give birth at the wedding. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to come over and chat with Kai a little bit because he is feeling a little bit sad. I don't know if I can apologize to him or anything. I guess we can share our emotional burden and maybe just ask him to calm down. I don't know if he's going to like approach us about us flirting with his brother. Honestly, I would if I was him, but 
I think Maple is just gonna say to him, like, you just seem so sad. Like, why don't you calm down? Like, we're having a good day. We're out of, like, work and everything right now. So, like, why are you... And she, oh, he's, like, I'm feeling a bit heartbroken. She's, like, why? Just breathe. Like, it's not that serious. Obviously, this is quite dismissive, but Maple doesn't understand his complex love emotions as a non-criminal sim, does she? <laughs> but she is very likable, and I think even if he's mad at her, he... Uh, We'll probably forgive her if she starts being quite flirty and stuff so why doesn't she like describe a flirty dream she had about him and see if he can get into a bit of a flirty mood as well oh my gosh there's all these people making that around us hey why don't you guys actually come in and get some of this like sucker tea stuff also where's may did i i invited her so she probably will come over here right is she here okay i think i'm gonna come and ask the guru about our love life let's ask for some wisdom and i also want to ask her about our current relationship see what she says i think maple will take it with a grain of salt of course but i am interested to know what she has to say regardless to see if the, the stars align if it's accurate etc she's like what so i want to know what you think of my current love life and if you can give me some like advice about love in my life <laughs> So far, looking promising, she's giving us lots of love heart thought bubbles. Love is often found in the place you at least expect to look. Okay, and then she just clocked off. <laughs> All right, well, that was, I guess that was what advice we're taking. Okay, May is here. I want to come see her. So she is just over here. <gasps> Wait, are you pregnant as well? Oh my God, May is also pregnant. Oh my God, I had no idea. That's crazy. So they're having like two babies. Maybe that's what they wanted to do. Maybe they didn't want to go ahead and like have two separate pregnancies. Maybe they really wanted to like have two babies at the same time. I think that one must be giving birth before the other though, unless they got pregnant on the same worker. I have no idea. I did set them as unplayed. So they really could have gone and done whatever they wanted. I'm not gonna be romantic with her. What am I doing? <laughs> Oh, she's throwing petals at her, but I also want to ask her to feel her baby bump as well. So I think that's in affection. There we go. We're like, hi. Oh my gosh, another little niece or nephew in there. Again, I'm not going to check what she's having. I want it to be a surprise, but I think she'll probably give birth at like the end of this episode-ish. So yeah, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. And I think Mabel will probably just talk to her about the wedding and stuff and say she's really, really excited to like have her as a sister-in-law and she can't wait for these guys to get married we'll congratulate on her engagement again i think they might end up having their wedding i don't know if i want to do it in like salani or like maybe tartosa is a good idea i think i want to do it somewhere like beachy though oh my gosh i cannot stand these people just making out in front of me like come on now come on now <laughs> okay i have no idea where kai has gone so we're just gonna chat with koya instead i think i'm just gonna ask him to kick soccer ball he seems to be getting in a flirty mood so he might be flirting like with this lady here or some other people that are hanging around honestly maybe we can be his like wing man a little bit and see if he's like interested in like getting with anyone that he's met here i think kai maybe is like a little bit annoyed at how close maple and koya are getting but at the end of the day like we're just co-workers and friends and he is yeah he just left like oh my gosh i, I, I don't know if he's angry at us or not we didn't do anything we're just kicking the soccer ball like <laughs> we're just hanging out with someone that's got a lot of the same interests as us but we probably should head off fairly soon because it is like almost one o'clock in the morning and if honey and may are getting married tomorrow then we probably need to get some sleep so i'm gonna send maple home now say goodbye to our sister and our almost sister-in-law and yeah wedding day tomorrow i cannot wait she is super tired though <laughs> all righty it's six o'clock in the morning and maple is up and she is absolutely filthy oh my god girl please get in the shower like right now all right she's having a bath thank god okay and she will also need the loo when she's done so today is wedding day. I was originally thinking I might go ahead and just start things off in Honey and May's household, but honestly, I think I'd rather start off in Mabel's household and then we can just add them to our household when we do the wedding. I think I want to go... You want to go in the cupboard? Okay, hold on. My camera's in the cupboard. I'm thinking that I want to have the wedding in Solani today. Obviously, Honey came along with Maple originally when they visited Solani on vacation and they just really, really like it here. I was thinking here or Tartosa. I think I'm going to try and do the wedding here, but I'm going to let Maple shower and then I think I'm going to get it started and have a nice like morning wedding because 
it always takes forever. Like weddings take literally forever. <laughs> so I'll see if I can book something into the calendar and then we'll go ahead and get it started. Okay, so here we are. And surprisingly, everyone is dressed super appropriately for this wedding, except for Koya, who I will just change now. I don't know if this is his formal wear. I don't know why he's put that on. Um, surely you have an outfit like that you can wear that's not this right formal yeah he has a formal outfit and it, oh my gosh it's actually mint colored okay so everyone is in like a minty colors which works out perfect yuki i'm really sorry i know you're an elder but you can't actually wear this because <laughs> that's a white dress so for yuki i'll just put this on you'll have to wear an orange dress oh i kind of wish i gave her a blue one but that's fine she's orange gen okay so here we are we're all here at the wedding venue um, I cannot wait. Okay, so I've just popped May and Honey in our household. They're actually wearing the same dress, but in different colors. I kind of felt like May would want to wear a black dress. I don't know. Like, obviously, they're not going too crazy, too all out. It is a beach wedding. So I feel like this is pretty appropriate. Um, both Casey and Amara have just decided to go swimming, and it looks like everyone else is also going swimming. Honey. All right, so I'm going to get everyone to come and sit over here, ready, ready for the wedding ceremony. So... Um, let's have, please take your seats, everyone, and hopefully everyone will come over and grab a seat. I don't really mind if people are wearing bikinis and stuff because it is a Solani wedding, like, it's fine. Like, if people want to wear that's fine. I will just change people, like, as they come down, but if they change back into swimwear, like, they're not getting a second chance. Like, sorry about it, it's not happening. Mabel also is dressed, <laughs> not very super appropriately for a wedding, but you know what, she's wearing a dress, so we'll call it what it is. Thank you, everyone. Are you just going to sit on the floor there? There is ample amount of seats for you to sit on. Kai and Koya, come on now. These girlies are coming too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh, our little sister Clementine. Wait for everyone to come and sit. Okay, so here comes Maple walking down the aisle. She's looking super, super beautiful, and she's shedding a tear. She's going to go grab a seat now. I'll just get her to come and sit over here and then I'm gonna have both May and Honey walk each other up the aisle they're obviously not doing things super traditionally so it should be all good hey here they come and they're walking down the aisle oh they're so happy waving at everyone cuties all right let's turn them around and they are gonna go ahead and exchange their vows now honey is exchanging her vows with may this is so cute look at the little pregnancy bellies and i think everyone behind us like must be cheering us on or whatnot oh, our moms are over here crying that is so sweet they love it oh they're gonna go ahead and kiss i think maybe Oh, exchanging rings, of course. <laughs> Beautiful. And we have another ring over here. Alright, I guess you guys must kiss. Oh, there they go. And they're having their little smoochies now. Cute. Okay, so that was like the gist of the wedding, wasn't it? So now we can go ahead and do the rest of the thing. So I'm going to have everybody come over and... Um, rice I think all right here they come they're gonna walk through everyone I bet but that's fine <laughs> they're like okay come on let's go celebrate thank you so much oh my god I can't believe honey's married that's crazy oh so cute I love them perfect perfect couple okay now everyone can interact and have fun and do what they want to do this is a very casual casual wedding so I don't, I'm not too bothered by it um I'm not too bothered like if they'll have fun or not. I feel like Honey would definitely want to get into some of the activities. I think I'm going to get her to actually come over and oh we have um some toasts and stuff to do so I might actually request a toast from both of our mums and Dallas as well and of course like while we're here and everything I do want to spend some time with some of our sisters. Oh my god did I forget to invite Anzu to the wedding? I literally forgot to invite Anzu. <laughs> she moved out of the house. She's out of town so I forgot to invite her but both of our mums are giving weddings. Maybe she was busy and she couldn't make it to the start but she'll be here for the reception so that's all good. Oh look at them giving us the toast. We're so cute. Everyone's got the little one glasses. Kai's over here too. Anzu will be right over over perfect and while we're here let's come say hi to our mom i can't believe yuki is a bloody elder she looks absolutely crazy like she's she's old now i'm so sad so we'll come over and give her a big hug and a little clementine's over here she's actually talking to kai i think we should introduce kai to our parents oh my god not at the wedding maple what is wrong with you why are you kicking the ball around there we go that's better give her a hug and oh honey needs the toilet badly babe just go to the toilet love like this this is nothing serious like come on Come over here. <laughs> I got you a, a whole toilet block over here. So let's go and introduce Kai to 
our mom, I think she's like, so who's this guy you brought with you to Honey's wedding? And Maple's like, oh yeah, that's my boyfriend. That's Kai. Wow, Maple, I didn't realize you felt so strongly about Kai. She's like, oh, I didn't realize you were actually dating someone. And Kai probably feels a little bit awkward because he's like, oh, you didn't tell your parents that we've been dating for the last like year or so, like <laughs> almost year. She's like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, this was such a nice event. I'm gonna like go over here and you know, get the pool in the ocean, just gonna swim around for a little bit, you know how it is. Um, I don't know why she's going to go swim, but maybe we'll come over and actually come and do some dancing. I'm actually gonna gather the guests over here for like speeches. Um, and I'm gonna have, I don't know who I wanna have give a speech. Maybe a little Clementine can give a speech. Maybe she wants to say something. <laughs> oh, Koya's finally made it. He probably should say hi to Honey and congratulate her on her wedding as well honestly whatever like it's fine our whole family's here they're all dancing they're having a really good time kai's actually being a really really nice polite guest and he's really happy to be here he's <laughs> totally interacting with everyone <laughs> did i make them cowbreak dance i thought i had just asked them to dance they're all cowbreak dancing <laughs> this is so crazy oh my gosh it's hectic i love it oh my gosh may's getting a phone call she said, congrats on getting married, honey. Oh, Gather for first dance, guys. Come on. I think these two should have... Like, we, I know we're dancing, but they should have their own little dance as well. No one's going to get off the dance floor now, are they? I think I'm just going to have to let them <laughs> keep dancing like this. Oh, her back is so sore. Oh, we're all so hungry as well. Is there any food around here for us? I didn't really think about that, did I? Oh, cute. These guys... Okay, so these guys are having a little bit of a slow dance, which I think is really sweet. And Kai is like, oh, it's so nice, like, being here. Like, can you imagine that this is going to be us one day getting married? And I think people is going to be like, oh, like, oh, yeah, we're, we're. And we'll give him a hug and be like, oh, yeah, totally. But I also feel like she probably wants to discuss fear of commitment and be like, honestly, Kai, I should be honest with you. I just, I don't know if I ever pictured myself getting married so she's just gonna talk she goes honestly it's like really scary for me to think about this kind of thing it's not really something that i don't know if i want okay he's like a little bit angry he's like oh, maple i just need to be honest with me and may's like can you guys please not fight at the wedding guys like come on now please don't fight at the wedding you're right we shouldn't fight at the wedding i'm gonna go over and talk to anzu go fire her up a little bit he's uh maybe we should just ask him to leave i think may's like kai if you guys are gonna fight maybe you should just go home so we're like Okay, maybe we'll talk about this later. Um, well, I mean, I guess he can stay, but we're just gonna stop talking to him for a bit. So we'll go talk to Anzu instead. <laughs> Koya's like, what did you say to her? Why were you guys yelling? Like, oh, cuties. See, this is gonna be Honey and May when they get older. And I can just picture it now. Honey, have you had your first dance? Oh, look how cute they are. Slurry dancing. Oh. My sweet girls. Hold on, I wanna get a little picture of them, I think. Okay, they can keep dancing now, that's so cute. Also, I just noticed that these guys are literally making out as well. <laughs> I guess everyone's feeling very much in love today, except for one person who kinda isn't sure how she feels anymore. Um, Kai is still enjoying himself though, but maybe she'll come over and talk to Koya and be like, oh, can we go somewhere else for like a little bit? Like maybe we can go swing on the swing or something just have like a deep personal conversation and be like i don't know she needs to go over and talk to him separately though because kai's right here okay kai's gonna just dance with the rest of these guys kai's a really good guy by the way i just don't think that him and maple are compatible but um both koya and maple are actually gonna walk over here together oh everyone's coming oh maybe we're just gonna send him it with may okay you guys are really hungry hold on i'll feed you i'll feed you don't worry there you go, look, it's your wedding night, you get little cheaties, okay? <laughs> Maple, you're the heir, so you do not get any cheaties, but okay, I think everyone needs to just like go away a little bit because we're we want to have a chat over here, so all right, Kai is gone to go swimming, so I think we should probably just talk to Koya and I want to have a deep thought with him and just have a deep conversation and just kind of he probably is wanting to ask Maple like why we were yelling and May's asking too, and we're like, I, I don't want to be mean, like I know he's your brother, but he kind of wants more than what I want from him and I'm not really sure what to do. She's like, I think I should try and end it with him before it gets too serious because at the end of the day, I really like him and I don't want to break his heart. And he's like, what? Like, he's like, okay, well, if you do that, make sure you do it sooner rather than later because you don't really want to string him along for too long. And Maple's like, yeah, you're right. I probably should go talk to him now. And we're like, seriously, at the wedding. But to be fair, everyone has 
gone off to have a break. I am going to have a little reception party at like a club or something for them, but I'm going to let everyone go home, freshen up, get some stuff. I'm actually going to go back to our place and invite Kai over to have a chat. So let's just bring Kai. Koya, you can not come with us. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're back here and we're like, okay, Kai, um, did you want to come inside? And I mean, I think at this stage she like knows she wants to break up with him, but she doesn't like really know whether it's like important to do right here, right now, because people, some people just date and they know they're not going to end up together, but they still continue to date. Is he, I'm going to actually just control him and get him to come here. Where are you going? Going for a walk. No, no, come inside. So I think she's just going to have a little bit of a conversation with him now and just like really quickly, like kind of suss out what his intentions are. So let's just like have a deep conversation with him and just sort of figure out like what he is wanting out of us. And he's like, Mabel, you said you were like, you felt non-committal. You didn't ever see yourself getting married. Like, do you think that will ever change? Is that just a right now thing? Cause you're really young. She's like, I don't know. I honestly just really like being single. And I kind of thought we were dating for the sake of just dating. I didn't really take it like as seriously. And I'm starting to realize that you do think we're kind of more serious than I I think we are um and they're just having a conversation like a conversation you know what we're just gonna make it really I don't want it to be an upsetting conversation so it's gonna be really like a really nice one um we'll just like get to know him a little bit more find out more about like what he wants out of us and I think after chatting we're just kind of realizing that maybe we're just like not the right person for him like we do think he is extremely attractive of course but we really respect him and we think he deserves to be with someone that can make him happy and I don't think that is Maple um, but I am actually just gonna get them to have one last woohoo before she ends things because she's I don't know I think it's one of those like really intense conversations where they'll end up getting like, a bit physical and then at the end of it they'll sort of go separate ways and we'll just ask him to be friends so for now they're just gonna have one last woohoo to sort of remember things by who went on the sofa <laughs> and then after this we'll break up with him and then we're gonna go out we're gonna go see honey and everything finish celebrating their wedding and then we'll come on home and seeing as we're not dating him anymore we can also just get rid of this like woohoo protection because we don't need it like I'm just gonna get rid of it like this can go in the bin to be honest like and since we're not woohooing at anyone anymore I've decided to get rid of our woohoo protection although I just did see that she didn't use protection even though she should have because I grabbed it off her as we were doing that that's insane okay oh my god she can take a pregnancy test not tonight not happening it's not happening. Okay, so <laughs> if she's pregnant, we will find out at a later date. We're not going to find out now. But I'm going to go ahead and just ask him to be friends now because that's what we agreed we'd be best at. So tough conversation time, but we're just going to ask him to be, ask to just be friends. Probably she didn't use protection. Like, <laughs> I mean, if something happens, something happens, you know. <laughs> like, we're really sorry, but yeah, it just, we think it's best that we just go our separate ways. So how about since we've just broken up, it's probably best that you don't come out to the party tonight and I'll wish honey and may your best, but I don't really want to cause any like drama and stuff. So even though they are friends, they will still hang out and still get along, but yeah, the relationship just wasn't working. So he can go back to his own household now and the rest of us can go out and have a Pate. Okay, so I've decided to bring everybody to the summer festival. I know we come here like literally every single episode, but they had their wedding in Solani and it just feels like the place to be. You know what I mean? It's fun. They can dance. They can swim. They can do all sorts of stuff. The slide is here. Like, can we all slide together? I feel like it would be so much fun. Like, everyone can just slide. I feel like it'd be a really good time. I'm also gonna go um, have, maybe I'll have Miss Meg add some flames to this fire and I am going to get a mixologist as well because I feel like drinking is fun when we have weddings. Honey is... <laughs> Girl, are you in labor? Girl, she's in labor. <laughs> oh my god, honey. Okay, okay. I probably should tell her to go off and have the baby. All right, babes, you can go back to your own household now and have your child. So yeah, she's going to have to leave, but the rest of us are going to stay here and prepare because realistically, as much as I would love to be there for Honey when she has her baby, to me, I feel like her and her new wife would probably want to be the ones there and we can come over and visit her another day. So I'm going to stop controlling both these guys and the rest of us are going to have the time of our bloody lives. <laughs> Oh my god, we're all soapy. Well done, well done, well done. 
Okay, we have a mixologist here, so let's come and order a drink for the group, and I think we'll just get some beers like we did last time. Actually, I want to get some... Yeah, we'll get like a root beer float. That sounds like a good time. Unzu's here as well, our little sister, so we can have too much to drink because we actually are looking after her. Oh no, she's a young adult now. Just kidding. We can drink as much as we like, and we're also not pregnant, or maybe we are because we just were here without protection. I forgot. <laughs> But um, we can drink as much as we like because Maple is not worried about being pregnant. She probably doesn't even think about it at this stage. If she was, I don't know if she is. And everyone is very, 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 very soapy. Okay, let's come all dance together out over here at the fire as well and just have a couple drinks. May, you really should not be drinking while you are literally pregnant. Honey, are you not going to go to the hospital? I, <laughs> I let you back into your own household so you could do what you wanted. Oh my god. Okay, I guess we're buying a round though. I want to chat with Michaela as well because I haven't seen her in a bit. Give her a compliment. We'll fire her up. Compliment her outfit, I think. And we're all just hanging out at the fire. All very, very soapy. Um, Miss Honey, I really think you should go home though. <laughs> oh my god, my little love. Bracelet buddy fist bump. I want to do this too. Oh, look at everybody hanging out. Ooh, are you meeting a man, Casey? She seems to be meeting a man <laughs> okay i don't know if i could get her maybe i can meet this guy and get them to like start dating or something that would be fun gossip uh let's talk up another sim we'll talk up casey see if he's interested in her i was talking to kai over here he's like okay i'll talk to you about your brother in a minute but i need a couple of drinks before we get there because oh my gosh that was that was rough <laughs> do we want to have another drink oh my gosh but my me time from single... Okay, Maple really wants to spend more time focusing on herself. Why did she think being in a relationship was a good idea in the first place? Oh, I like that. Makes sense for what we've just gone through, to be honest. I kind of like that. That's some of feel to this fire. Oh my gosh, look at everyone here. I miss all of our friends so much. I think Koya's building a sandcastle. Maybe we'll come over and just see how he's doing. We'll give him a compliment, flatter him a little bit. I guess he looks so sad. I don't know what he's sad about. Can I ask him? Calm his emotions down. Honey, baby, please leave. Girl, I feel so bad for her, but I'm not making her stay here. She's just here. Can I, like, make her leave our group or something? I'll remove her from my group. Hopefully she'll go home. Okay, we're helping him calm his emotions. He's feeling really sad. We're like, okay, calm down, breathe it out. He's like, I just feel really bad for my brother. I'm like, well, these things happen, right? We did the right thing at the end of the day. Um, And I guess we'll ask him about his relationship goals too. We're like, yeah, our relationship, we just want to be single. Like, you're probably in the same boat, right? We'll give him a, we'll give him a hug because he feels sad. Maybe we can get him to hook up with one of these girls tonight. Not my sister though. He hasn't really thought about it. Oh. I don't know why he's so sad for. <laughs> Look at her giving him a hug. She's like, it's okay, they're there. Did you want me to buy you a drink? <laughs> Guys, I'm here for you no matter what, whether you want to talk, cry, or just sit in silence, I'm here for you. Well, we'll get through this together. Now, everyone's sort of going off to the ocean to swim around. Honestly, I kind of like it. That's a good idea. Maple is feeling pretty good from drinking. Hooked up mishap. Oh, yeah, the people she was trying to get today, that didn't work out, did it? Although, she is having bubbly fun. Oh, my gosh, she's, like, flirting with this random guy, bro. <laughs> Maple, who is this guy? I think she's drunk. Oh, my God. I think half of our friends have left as well. I'm going to get her to order another drink for the group just before we call it a night and head home. So, we'll have one more, I guess, root beer float. That was pretty good. Got us in a flirty mood, apparently. And here comes all out friends. Okay. Are you still pregnant over here? You are. Oh my gosh, May. <laughs> all right. These guys are just chilling at the bonfire. I had to do it as a romantic interaction, which is why they got some romance. But I just wanted them to have like a little chat at the bonfire and like comfort each other after everything they've been through. I've just really enjoyed getting to know Koya. And I think we'll just like console him about death. Oh my God. Someone in his family has died, which is why we're consoling him about death. That's that's a bit intense. Poor lad. I don't really want to like totally flirt with him, but if she ends up doing it, then I don't really mind. Like it, it's just a very casual flirt. You know what I mean? I think she's going to do like a hug and surprise kiss because she's actually a little bit drunk. She's actually tipsy and I think she's probably not really thinking too straight. So she's just grabbed him and done like a bit of a hug and surprise kiss. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these guys are actually super flirty. They're both pretty junk. And before they head off, I honestly kind of feel like they might just go ahead and we're here in the waterfall if he accepts it. I don't know if he will accept it, but they're pretty drunk. They've had some drinks. Um, let's just ask him anyway. And okay, so he has kind of agreed. Um, I know <laughs> he just broke up with his brother. Yeah, so we're not really thinking things through too much. And we've actually decided to come in and woohoo with our ex-boyfriend's brother, which can only 
end up in bad things happening, I suppose. But to be honest, like the way they see it is they're both kind of single and this is just kind of a one time thing. No one really needs to know this ever happened, to be honest. <laughs> they both were just drunk and she just got out of a relationship. He's not planning on seeing anyone. So they just decided to woo her. They've agreed they're not going to tell Kai this happened. Although if they did, I'm sure like, he would be upset, obviously. But at the same time, Mabel is not dating him anymore. So it doesn't really matter and they are doing it in the waterfall when no one's around so no one is going to know a thing and I think we'll also just be like okay we can't tell anyone that's happened because that's that's terrible she, she smells she's gonna come and have a quick shower I think she'll probably shower in the nude right because I mean they're just naked all right and I have to just make sure we just ask to be friends so they don't flirt again because that was a one night thing okay <laughs> not happening again ask to just be friends there we go all right probably finish up showering the waterfall now and be like okay this didn't happen oh my god it keeps taking me away we're like okay this didn't happen we could we seriously cannot be more than friends because it's not fair to kai okay this is a one-time thing because there is no other cute boys in salani and i can't rope kai into rehoing with me again because he is just he would be heartbroken he would think it's more and it wasn't so we can't do this okay she's like this is a one-time thing um oh god she's literally maple I just asked you to be friends and you're holding his hands again. Go, no, 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 okay? She's like, I probably should get home. Oh my god, it's one o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday. People are going to be looking for you guys. Please go home. Oh my god. Okay, Mabel, please. Alrighty, so she's just going to pretend she's been out at work, but realistically, she has been out woohooing, drinking, and having the time of her life. Alrighty, and this is where I'm going to leave things. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!